Hey, what's up, Mystery Art Inc. fam? Today, we're gonna take a look at the Light and Heavy Pin by Wayne Fox. We'll discuss the effect, the gimmick, and the instructions, and whether it's worth 30 bucks. Plus, stick around to the end for a hint on some upcoming content that I know you will love. Let's dive in. In this video, we'll be covering the following topics primarily. You know, who is this product for? We'll talk about hypnotism and magic. We'll go a little bit into that. We'll go down the rabbit hole. The package and the gimmick. Uh, we'll go over the instructions and my thoughts on the product and its overall value to me, to other people. We'll go from there. So spoiler to everyone who wants it to be a magic trick. It's not. This uses good old suggestion with a little convincer to give a lay audience a little bit more of a push over the edge. Uh, I would say to a lay audience, this convincer has the exact same effect of leading with something like magnetic fingers or hands, but a magician would see this from a mile away, and it would probably never work, which is probably why everyone's going on about the Blackpool experience. Maybe I don't know. But that point means that you have to do a thing here. Are you performing for other magicians or lay people who can't even spot double lift? Think about it. We must define and be honest with who we are performing for and how magic savvy they are. But anyway, who is this product for? Uh, I would say this product would really benefit a magician looking to explore hypnosis or, hypno or, or a hypnotist who wants to add something to their practice to or an act to amuse and delight with a really interesting take on hypno and a big effect. Um, so hypnosis and magic is interesting. Hyp hypnosis is something that is very, very misunderstood by magicians and very often time attacked for no good reason by magicians as well. But that doesn't mean it doesn't work. Watch someone like James Brown, Peter Turner, uh, James Tripp, and you'll realize that you don't need a traditional sleep, blah, 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 to get a quality response. A magic setting is actually a great place to begin the test of suggestibility because we always have an out of the trick. Even we look at something we've already been doing, like Dr. Daly's last trick, it has the potential for a hypnotic framing by simply implying that you are a you are Jedi mind screwing them to uh, remember things differently. Anything can be, you know, the seed of a belief or an idea. That's why we all thought Darren Brown was real until we got in a little deeper, right? So let's go over the package and the contents here. Uh, we'll look downward for that. So going back to the effect, let's look at what you get. First off, I've been spoiled a lot lately with all the my illusionist stuff because the packaging is not super inspiring on this one. But the package does not define the content. So don't judge too quick. I'm trying to avoid the, the link on here too. Inside we have our gimmick and that's it. Uh, there's a link and password on the site. But that's really it. The gimmick is super sturdy. It does function as a normal pin. I guess we can show it, which is just a surprise. But it's not something that feels lazily made. Uh, Wayne or some cronies didn't just post up one day and make a bunch of these. I'm, a, I'm assuming they were manufactured uh, by the look and feel of them. So that being said, let's go look at the instructions as well. So the only thing we have to go by is the instructions. So let's start with the bad part. The video quality looks pretty bad and the audio quality is not crispy and easy to listen to. While I soaked up everything being said, I would not watch the video with a pair of headphones or AirPods in for the fear of extreme treble and lack of tact in the application of, or lack thereof, of noise removal. Please everyone, if you're ever making content, make sure your audio is good. It's what matters 10 times more than the video quality. The background music also makes me want to literally floss my brain. It was really distracting, and while I can see why it was there, it was not a good choice fit. On the teaching side, Wayne does a really great job, in my opinion. Everyone you meet has does hypnosis and is going to have something different or some grounding on, oh, I think it works based on this method. And, and even more micro beliefs of, yeah, but I don't agree with this and this and blah, blah, blah. This works really well for me, but not for others, etc., etc. That being said, there's a lot in the way Wayne thinks and presents the stages of building a trance or a stereotype hypnotist or hypnoty relationship. It rings true to me, albeit a little bit drawn out and flowery. That being said, I'm a very direct person and hypnotist with a different thought pattern to a lot of people. So this voicings may unlock a nugget of gold for you. If, give it, if it gives you one of those aha moments, it's totally worth it, uh, in my opinion. Like, seriously, those nuggets just drop out and they're great. So 
what about the product and the value of it? Is, it? is it really worth it? I mean, it looks dead on. Like, we got a real Sharpie here. We got this Sharpie here. Um, uh, is, is the value worth it? Is it really a, that great of an effect? I would say yes, to an extent. If you've never done hypnotism before, the effect is extraordinary. There's a reason why I've seen Peter do this a uh, completely gimmick-free version of this same light and heavy pen effect for literally years. It's a compelling demonstration and escalation of hypnotic phenomena centered around a focal point. That's What's that in English? Your audience has something to focus on and you're sidestepping traditional stereotype approaches like magnetic hands and all the traditional stunts that I still love to do, but everybody does them and everyone and people are starting to know about them. So circling back, do I find a gold nugget? Yes, but not in the way that you think. I can't go into it because I recently found out it's not mine to discuss, but I have a great idea from this product that I'm going to use to de use and definitely use. Will I use the gimmick ever? <sighs> Probably not, but I don't really need to. I can get the same effect without it and even quicker when I flesh out uh, my idea further. As arrogant as, as that honestly sounds, I'm being just honest. What would, would others find value if they knew their way around the hypnotic arts? I think so. Reason being this, there aren't a lot of strong hypnotists out there due to the natural learning curve. And this would be a huge win for them if they utilized it to aid in building the chops to throw the gimmick away. Think about it. You're probably watching this as a magician based on knowing my people here. So would learning how to take someone's strength away, give it back, um, with the cover of failure being just... It being a magic trick where this is basically an omni pin be a worthwhile thing to you <laughs> i'd say so well, what do i mean when i say this could be an omni pin well think about it right you go into your routine and you start off with your regular sharpie you bring this guy in and uh basically at the end if you fail if you completely fail on everything right you've got this the pin has indeed got heavier. It's a magic trick now. It's not a hypnosis stunt for one person. It's a magic trick for the whole audience. Still an impressive effect. Versus, you know, the pin earlier, you, heard that you hear this, right? It, you can tell the difference in weight. It's not like a 20-pound pin, but it's a little bit noticeably heavier, and you can feel it. So I like this idea. I really do. I want to fucking love it, but I just know there's a better way. And uh, I also know that I can do this without hypnosis. And that and that's kind of the big takeaway I have on this. So uh, that's right, folks. I just made this product worthwhile. Think about that. If you go into the hypno and you're booming, you can always just have the person let go of the pen and it drops the table with a thud. You transformed it. For the love of all things, Dave Vernon, people, hypnosis is easy once you let it be. And you realize you can make it with all with zero failure with a little bit of brain power. So in conclusion, is this thing worth 30 bucks? I mean, to the right person, yes. Was it to me? Uh, yes, because I got that nugget. Will it be to you? Well, do you want to learn a genuine skill to benefit you for the rest of your life? Uh, well, do it elsewhere, but still buy this because it'll be a valuable to you later on. I would highly recommend studying people like uh, Aaron Alexander, Peter Turner, James Brown, definitely Anthony Jackwin, and a big one no one knows about in the magic community, James Tripp with Hypnosis Without Trance. If you want to become the kitties titties on the old hypno block. Other than other great books I recommend is, uh, you know, I Create As I Speak 1 and 2 by Louis Laval. Very strong hypnotist. He's great. I love Louis. Uh, it, it has a few mental and philosophical nuggets in it that really helped me reignite my love for, you know, hypnotism and this stuff over the pandemic. All right, everyone, that's it for this review of the Light and Heavy Pin by Wayne Fox. If you found this review helpful or entertaining, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to Mystery Arts Inc. for more no BS information on the latest products and valuable tips and the best in the world of magic. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss any new content. In the upcoming weeks, we have some exciting non-review content coming your way as well, including a deep dive into the business side of getting your trick picked up by a magic company, as well as how to do it in the most efficient and risk-free way. You don't want to miss that. So all that being said, if you have any questions about hypnosis or getting your trick picked up by a magic company or your opinions on this product, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I will answer. I will do it. Uh, we love hearing from you and we and your input, it might spark some interesting discussion or help others in their magical journey, right? And if you're interested in picking up the light and heavy pen for yourself, 
I found the last stock available and placed the link in the comments. If you're a magician looking to do hypnotism, I think it'd be valuable for you. So hurry up and grab one before they're gone. So thank you for watching, and as always, keep exploring the world of magic and mentalism and hypnotism, and let your curiosity lead the way. This is Mystery Arts Inc. signing off. Catch you in the next video. Just don't make me fall. <laughs>